we are discussing a topic called formal languages and automata theory so we are learning the subject formal languages and automata theory in some of the universities they will call it as a formal languages and automata theory and in some of the university then the same they will call it as a fun theory of computation theory of computation so uh, as a one of the core subject in the computer science so man kona computer science lo konni core subjects lo this uh, formal languages and automata theory anedi kuda as a very very important subject uh, in a gate examination public sector examination lo weightages unna subject idi so from the beginning onwards you need to learn you need to concentrate on the uh, what is the formal language and automata theory and how you are representing the formal language and automata theory effectively you are having some kind of problems and you need to solve that problems so you need to practice more so before going to be entering into the introduction part so formal languages and automata theory so we will learn about uh, first uh, we are splitting into two parts one is uh, formal language and uh, another one is uh, automata theory we can split into formal language and we'll move into the uh, what is the main objective of this subject and then we'll go into the in details so the main objective is kunna tarvata mana in details lo kellam so formal languages and automata theory so you all know about the language so we all know about the language so language we are using for the communication so if i want to communicate anything so language i am using for the communication so different languages are there generally okavela mana human languages lo maatladukunte i am having uh, a basically i belongs to uh, telugu language atlane my mother tongue em untadi ante telugu language untadi on the same way some people they can communicate effectively in english ante vaallu maatladutunna bhasha enti ante తెలుగు భాష కానీ ఇంగ్లీష్ భాష కానీ దాన్ని మనం వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బి కమ్యూనికేటింగ్ అంటే మనం ఐ వాంట్ టు ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ సమ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ పర్సన్ టు ది అనదర్ పర్సన్ సో వెన్ ఎవర్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ట్రాన్స్ఫరింగ్ ద డేటా ఫ్రమ్ వన్ పర్సన్ టు ది అనదర్ పర్సన్ సో నేను ఒక పర్సన్ నుంచి ఇంకొక పర్సన్కి నేను పంపించాలి అనుకున్నప్పుడు ఐఎమ్ కమ్యూనికేటింగ్ సో ఐ వాంట్ టు సెండ్ సమ్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ that you will call it it may be call it as a computer terminology you will call it as a string so i am i am sending some words from person 1 to person 2 so one from one person to another person i am suppose i am saying hi so in the same i am receiving a reply from second person to here i am saying hi so here the in between these two persons we are having a language so we are having a language that language you are having a set of strings you are going to be having a set of strings used to communicate between these two people so you are having two people so in between these two people i am having a language and based upon this language i am able to communicate so atlane manam telugu language teeskunnam anko i can take telugu language also so whenever you are going to be taking the telugu language telugu language manam teeskunna appudu so a language lo so first person nunchi second person ki the way of asking the question will change so akadate hi i used alphabets so here alphabets will plays a major role in this subject so you are going to be using the alphabets so ipudu telugu lo nenu maatladutunna appudu whenever i just want to communicate in telugu language i need to use the telugu alphabets so yella unna so i want to use a alphabetical letters called telugu nenu so i am using a terminology called telugu so mana vaadutunna string representation anta kuda as in a language is in another language that another language it is a telugu so the alphabets i am using here the alphabets will change the alphabets will change based upon the language so so every language having a set of alphabets 
so and based upon the alphabets you can able to communicate the strings so one uh, the most familiar you all know that a b c d e f g h and all these are all as an alphabet because i should have some common mechanism to communicate in a specific language ante manam maatladukotaniki andarki ardham ayye vidhanga konni aksharalu manam nechukovali kabatti telugu lo naithe ayana nechukuntam when coming to the english language you are using a b c d e f g h like that so with this combination so whatever you want to speak so whatever the data you want to communicate from anyone you are going to be using from the set of these alphabets you are going to be using set of this alphabets so e alphabets lo nunchi it is a combination of the words existed in the particular set so whenever you are representing any language so mana main language lo mana represent chestuna gaani so it is having a set of the alpha bits existing on the particular language so a language lo na set of alpha bits meda depend ay untadi so here whenever you are learning about the introduction of the formal languages so language so you are learning about the language when coming to the computer here ipudu mana nechukovalsindi entante i just want to use a language to the computer i want to use the language to the computer so you all know that you are having a computer will follow a language in the form of you are not giving any input you whatever the input you may give you can able to understand the operations in the form of a binary language so binary language means you may have the strings zeros or ones so ikkada kuda you need to go for the representations so a set of input representations i am having and based upon this set of inputs you are going to be generating the strings you are generating the strings a string means a string of the combination with the alphabet here you are having an alphabet you are going to be using the alphabets and by using the alphabets you are going to be generating the string so mana computer lo chestunna appudu computer can able to understand the binary language so ee binary language lo chestunna appudu formal languages lo manam chestunna appudu so ee subject lo mana main ga em nerchukuntam ante whenever you are giving a string that will a set of a particular combination of zeros and ones so normally in a english so english lo naithe so you can call a set of a b c and when coming to the computer binary language you will call it as an a set of zeros and ones so you are having english a b c representation and you are representing 0 1 1 0 1 1 like this so this is a, a general string representation in the form of whenever you are representing any input especially my, our main intention is that i want to provide an input to the computer and based upon the input i need to produce the output so to provide this input and output so i have to execute this so to execute the particular operation you are going to be identifying all the data so this is the first basic representation about the language and next formal language so the way we are communicating so there's a formal and informal so mana maatlade vidhananni batti that you can say it as a formal language or else informal language so for every language we are going to be representing the way of explain expressing the content the way of expressing the content that you can able to form that you will call it as a formal language you suppose you take i want to say something so formal language nen cheppal anukuntunna appudu formal etla untadi informal language etla untadi so formal language lo em chesthe you do it an cheptan so ante you must do it must do it must i am going to be using you must do it antanna this is an informal 
this is an informal language and the same thing i am converting in the form of a formal language so apud deende nenu it is required to so ipudu nenu no chey ani cheppe badalu idi che idi ee vidhanga cheyalsi vastadi manam ila cheyalsina avasaram undi idi tappakunda manam cheyalsi vastadi it is required to so it is required to means the way of representing the particular elements will change so the name and name you are calling the particular operation as a formal representation as well as informal representation and the same thing uh, you can take some other example so inko ki example manam chuddam uh, uh, the, the same thing we are going to be using some sort of shortcuts when representing suppose i have i am going to be writing simply like this i have a pen but uh, this do not a proper way of representing a formal language so the same thing i have a pen so same danne manam em chestunam this is a, this is formal language and this is informal language so it is formal language i have a pen means whatever the input you are giving to the particular thing that should be in the proper way that should be in the proper way uh, when come to the computers also so computer lo kuda mana you are giving a string i am giving a input so meeru edaithe input manam isthunamo that input that input it should be in a proper way of representation means it should be a formal way of representation means the string whatever the combination of string you are generating ante ipudu mana language it is a combination of sentences so this is first sentence followed by the second sentence third sentence like this so oka bhasha anedi mana maatladutunnappudu daniki set of words anni kuda add avutu untayi kabatti whatever the words you are considering here that are all words we are going to be as a sequence you are going to be using it as a sequence so the sequence of the particular words you are using so that are all you are representing in the form of a proper way the proper representation is the way you can represent in the form of 0 and 1 so manam nechukovalsindi main ga ikkada enti ante formal language computer lo represent chestunnapudu so compulsory you are not going to be using any shortcut methods or you are not going to be using any uh, brief representation of the particular input you need to give a clear input to the machine a clear input to the machine and based upon the clear input only it can able to perform the operation so to go for uh, the particular subject clearly so you need to learn some basic concepts so in the previous semester you need to learn uh, some subjects called discrete mathematics you need to have some uh, basic introduction of the mathematical concepts in discrete mathematics means the relation and the properties of the relations as well as the how to represent the string how to compare the properties means the symmetric asymmetric mm, uh, you are having three properties reflexive symmetric and asymmetric how to compare that how to represent this string operation that you need to learn as well as you need to have some basic introduction about the algorithms means uh, any of the programming languages so edaina oka programming language gurinchi manaku idea unte saripothadi and you need to learn about uh, some introduction part of the data structures so data structures you need to learn and you need to learn about the recursion you need to learn about the recursions so because uh, the majority of the operation you are representing here uh, it's on the recursion way so manaku recursion gurinchi manaku telisindali in the next topic we'll try to discuss about some of the introductions which is required uh, for the uh, uh, this subject formal languages and automata theory and uh, we'll continue the sessions thank you